What is going on guys, Adrub here, and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how you can make working elevators in Halo 5 Forge using the scripts. Oh gosh, I fell off. But you get the idea, just a very crude version, you can obviously make an elevator shaft and make it go much higher if you want to, but this is basically how it all works. Very similar to how you make a moving door, so if you want to know how to do that as well, I will leave a link in the description. So I haven't exactly picked the uh, best spot, I just kind of found somewhere on the map where I could make this work to display it. Um, you might want to make it go a half unit lower or even a full unit, I'm not sure how far exactly, to make it kind of, I don't know, so you can walk right up it. But of course that's not really matter for this demonstration and I didn't want it to disappear completely. But uh, anyways, it's, it's quite easy to do and I will show you how to make it work with the scripts. So basically you're just going to go into your terminals. I just made one terminal and then duplicated it so that they uh, both do the same thing it's really simple and we'll see here I've locked it too because it they like to move around a lot when you when you edit them and stuff like that so hopefully there's no funny business here but all we're gonna do is go and add a script at the very bottom to the switch and we are gonna set the condition to on interaction the action to power set the channel to alpha and the state to toggle now once we've done all that you can go ahead and duplicate it if you want I'm gonna lock this back up real quick and um, you will, can just take that one and then leave it at the bottom where the uh, elevator will go to. Uh, that just makes things a lot easier than uh, spawning in another one and then doing the same thing. And then for your elevator platform, you just want to come in and you're going to do the same thing. Go all the way down to the bottom and you're going to make uh, some scripts. So the first script you are going to make is going to be set up like such. Condition is going to be on message received. Channel alpha. Action power set. Channel is alpha again and the state is going to be to on. So this will be the first script. This is going to uh, get the message from the switch after you send it. And then we are going to add another script to the platform and that is going to be condition on power state. The channel is going to be set to alpha and the state again is going to be on. We're going to put the action to move offset and this is where you're going to go into vertical and that's going to make uh, your, your elevator move up and down. And it doesn't matter which one necessarily you do here first. I don't believe um, as long as you have the opposite setting for uh, for your last script. So on this script again, we're going to have it move offset and we're going to have it move down 22 and a half units. And I have the time set to four as well. So you're not just instantly moving up and down. It kind of moves like a real elevator. You can of course do that faster or slower if you want to. And then for the last script again, you're going to go to the condition power state, the power on power state. Um, the channel is going to be alpha, the state, this one is going to be off, and the action is going to be move offset again. And this is going to, um, for action, the move that is going to do is just the opposite of the script 2 that we had, which is negative 22.50. So here we have positive 22.50, and that is going to move it up the same distance that it was moved down. And again, we have this time set to 4. So that is all you need to do to put it into practice. It's really easy. You could um, obviously get more in depth if you wanted to. You could just put a wall or something if you wanted an elevator shaft or say you wanted a box to move with it as well. All you would need to do is set the objects that you um, that you put. So you'd put some walls around here obviously and then you would just need to go into uh, your scripting for those and then do them exactly the same as you have done for your, um, for your bottom platform. So really easy to do guys, can just kind of uh, make your maps a little more uh, interactive and kind of get to some cool places. Obviously you can do a lot more things with it than just playing with the, the maps that are already there. If you kind of made your own things, you could you can make an elevator shaft and all sorts of things. But this is just a very crude version so you can see how to make an elevator if you weren't sure about that. So that is all for now guys, thank you so much for watching. If there's any other things you're curious about in Forge, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. But that is going to be it guys. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it so much if you left a like or possibly even subscribed. But we will see you guys in the next video.